Right guys, well, welcome to day 41 of the ICG Games Daily Dollop of Maths, keeping the math skills bubbling over for year one and year two while we can't be in school. Uh, thanks for coming back. Um, uh, please can you be sat with an adult, uh, please can you have a piece of paper and a pencil ready, and please can you call out and join in. Uh, I must. I have to apologise, it should be a bit of a shorter one today, because uh, I spent far too long finishing making a game, and I'll show you it um, a bit in a bit. Right, okay, here we go. We're going to count backwards from 41. Off we go. Join in. I might just quickly just turn my sound up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Counting backwards from 41. 41. 40. 39. 38. 37. 36. 35. Join in. 34. 33. 32. 31. 30. 29. 28. 27. 26. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Zero. Fantastic. Right. Okay, I'm going to make a number. Okay, this number is 52. Well, if I take 10 away, what's 10 less than 52? If I take 10 away, I'm going to take one of these away. What's 10 less than 52? One, two, three, turn your partner. Yeah, 42. Good job. Okay, right. Okay, I'm going to make another number. Right, I'm on 92. If I take 10 away, 10 less than 92, what's that answer going to be? 10 less than 92. So I've got 9 here, 9 10s. I take one of these 10s away and it'll be... Change partner? Yeah, 82. Okay, what's 1 less than 82? Just the 1 less. 1 less. Change partner? Yeah, 81. What's 1 less than 81? Yeah, 80. One less than 80. That's a tricky one. There's no more ones to take away here. One less than 80. Turn your partner. Yeah, there's none left here. So it'll unpack a 10. It'll be 79. Fantastic. Okay. What's... Let's just change this a little. What's 10 more? Year two's come on. This is for you. 10 more than 99. 10 more than 99. Turn to your partner. Yeah, are you ready? 1, 2, 3, 109. And there's, no, there's nothing here. There's a zero in here because you need this empty because it's saying there's no tens. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, have a look at a clock. Okay, now, first thing I need to look at today is clockwise and anti-clockwise because we're going to need that for the new game we're going to play in a minute. Okay, let me just turn off the digital and let me just turn off the hour hand. The way the clock goes, that is called clockwise. That's the way the clock goes. If you go, and if you ever look at a clock or a second, if you're never not sure and there's one of those hands that does the seconds on a clock. You can look at that. Whichever way that's going, that's clockwise. The way the, the way the hands go is clockwise. So if you're stuck in class and you can't remember which way clockwise is, look at a clock. And what, if you see the second hand going round, that's clockwise. The other way, a bit like um, antifreeze stops things freezing. Um, uh, uh, ooh, let me think of another one. Hmm. Um, anti-aging. If you see a cream on the television that's an anti-aging cream, it stops you aging. It's the opposite of aging. An anti-aircraft gun shoots down aeroplanes, so it's against aircraft. Anti-clockwise is the other way around. It's the opposite way to the way the clock goes. So anti-clockwise means going the other way clockwise is going the way the clock goes anti-clockwise is the other way okay we're gonna play a game with that in a minute but okay let's do some more clock work okay uh, what time is that now okay now we've been looking at quarters and halves so that's a clue 
What time's that? Change your partner. It's a quarter past 11, a quarter past. Now it's gone half the way around the clock. It's half past 11. Now, nobody ever says, bizarrely, three quarters past 11. They don't. It'd be helpful if they did. They never say three quarters past 11. It should be three quarters past 11, shouldn't it? But instead they say what it's going to the next hour. This is how much of the clock is there here? There's a quarter. So it's a quarter to 12. OK. OK, right, so let's have a look. So here's 12 o'clock. We've gone a quarter, eight, a quarter of the way around the clock. So now it's a quarter past. Now we've gone half the way around. So it's half past 12. Now it's three quarters past 12, but no one ever says it. It's actually a quarter. There's a quarter of the clock left till we get to the next hour, which is one o'clock. So it's going to be a quarter to one and then one o'clock. A quarter past one. Half past one, a quarter to two, two o'clock. OK, right now, uh, year twos, you need to be able to go a bit further than that. Um, uh, if we're on two o'clock now, you if I just put the minute numbers around the outside, you need to be able to say how many minutes passed. Let me just get rid of the digital clock. You need to be able to say how many minutes passed. So let's count in fives. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, or zero. What time is that? Yeah, three o'clock. So this is five past three, 10 past three, 15 minutes past three, quarter past, 20 past three, 25 past three, 30 minutes past three, everyone says half past. Now, really, now uh, people sort of say it the other way around and they say 3.35, 3.40, a bit like the digital clock, 3.40, 3.45, or a quarter to four, 3.50, 3.55, four o'clock. Okay, let's leave that. Ooh, we're going to have a look at this now. Ooh, a little bit of review, something we've done before. Um, right. So this one. Let's see if I can get rid of that quickly. I want you to go away. Please go away. Okay. This one is for the year ones. There's no tricky columns. This one is for the year twos. Pause the video for me and complete those two. Complete, complete one of those calculations. Year ones, that one. Year two's that one. Go. Pause the video. Okay. Now let's have a look. Let's have a look at year one's one first. Year one's 63 take away 22. So we've lined up the three and the two. We've lined up the six and the, the 60 and the 20. So three take away two. You just take away two. Three take away two is one. 60 take away 20, 10, 20, that leaves us 40. So 63 take away 22 is 41. Brilliant job. Well done, year ones, if you got that. Let me just see if I can quickly find the year twos one. Year twos, you've got a tricky column in there. 34 take away 27. So the units get lined up, line those up first, then line up the... Um, the tens. OK, let's have a look. We've got four take away seven. That's impossible, but we can make the impossible possible by unpacking a, t a ten. Unpack this ten. So this goes, we change this number down by one to 20 to two. Now we've got, a f I've still got a four, but we put a, a one here, meaning a ten. So we've got 14. There's 10 here and four here. Uh, 14 take away 7. Well, we know that that's like a uh, half, isn't it? So take away 7 is going to be 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's going to be 7. And 20 take away 20 is 0. So the answer is 7.
job, guys. Okay, now this is the bit I'm looking forward to today because somewhere I can show you a new game. I'm not sure. I'm still testing it, so it might not be perfect, but um, it's called Deadly Door. Warning, if you don't finish, there's a loud bang at the end of this game. So um, if you have a go of this game, turn the sound down a bit um, because there's a loud bang if you don't manage. Basically, someone has started the emergency self-destruct sequence. Not really, it's just a silly game. Open 10 doors to find the deactivate button. To open a door, follow the instructions to turn the dial. If you get it wrong, a door will close. So here we go. This is the year one and two version. How much time would you like? I'm going to go for the longer three minutes first. That ship will self-destruct in T minus three minutes. Okay, some silly person has activated the self-destruct mechanism. Whoever puts a self-destruct mechanism on a spaceship, I do not know. But anyway, right. So, all ten doors shut. Unfortunately, you lose about 20 seconds while you wait for the doors to shut. And then, we're at door ten. You need to do, to, to do a, a whole turn clockwise and you do it with this dial and it's clockwise which is the way the clock goes and it wants a whole turn clockwise and when you think you're done you press check turn that sound just a little bit down because it's probably quite loud for you half a turn clockwise so now i'm going clockwise which means i'm going this way Anti-clockwise is this way. That red doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just to show it's anti-clockwise. Oh dear. Self-destruct in T minus two minutes. Uh-oh. A whole turn anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise is this way. So I do a whole turn. <laughs> I'm not going to do it in time. A whole turn anti-clockwise again. A quarter turn anti-clockwise. Where's it going to be? Point with your finger. Where's it going to be? A quarter turn anti-clockwise. Yeah, it's going to be this, going this way. And I, that's a quarter turn. A quarter of the um, turn round. A quarter turn anti-clockwise again. That's an easy one. I've done that now. A whole turn anti-clockwise. Clockwise anti-clockwise a whole turn all the way around one. year ones you probably won't have seen a right angle year twos have seen a right angle a right angle is like a quarter turn and it's anti-clockwise we want anti-clockwise a whole turn anti-clockwise in that way no, oops, it's not. Ah, I'm in trouble now. The door shuts if you get it wrong. A whole turn anti-clockwise. Oh, a whole turn anti-clockwise again. That's quite easy. A whole turn clockwise. I'm sorry, I'm going fast because I want to show you what happens. And then you press this button. Scuttle means to like sink your ship or so destroy your spaceship. This stops the self-destruct mechanism. So, oh! Self-destruct deactivated. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so, we've saved, we just did it with <laughs> five seconds to spare. So, sorry, I did that really, really quickly just to show you the nature of the game. And so, if you're fancy having a go, you can have a go. Um, be aware, if you don't get it done in time, there's a big explosion noise. Okay, so it does a sound effect that goes bang. Okay, right, so guys, that's I'm sorry, I've, uh, that's all I've got time for today. Uh, so your reward is you get to be a butterfly bringer. You just need to, you can go out in the garden and put your finger out and um, say, butterfly, butterfly, come this way, and then they all come and land on your finger, no matter where you are. Awesome. Have a good day.